Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. In this video, we are going to be playing Deep Rock Galactic again. And I just wanted to check out to, to make sure I have all the available upgrades installed on Bosco since I am doing solo missions now. So saw my last video. Um, this is going to be similar. Hopefully it'll go a lot smoother. I'm hoping this mission will only take me about a half an hour, but we will see what the mines, I was going to say what the mines have in mind, but that sounds stupid. We'll see if I can actually finish this in half an hour. But anyway, we're doing a new mission type, or at least a mission type I haven't recorded yet. Um, it's called the Salvage Operation. So like, let's see, your health has increased by 30%. Can't hurt. Um, so in a salvage operation, you're basically sent in to recover a bunch of lost equipment from a mining expedition that went wrong. Um, so I'm going to be nice and not throw it at the robot this time. There's actually a little mini game over here where you can kick the barrel in, but you can also try to throw the cup in, which I just failed at. But yeah, you can do that for as long as you want. Um, yeah, so this is from a failed mining expedition. So dwarfs that did not make it back, you're sent in to recover the equipment they left behind. So you need to find several smaller versions of the mule and find their missing legs and reassemble them and then get back to the dropship. So hopefully this goes smooth. I thought that the missing equipment shows up on, oh, I think after you find the missing mules, um, the, the location of their missing parts does show up on your little map thing. Okay, this is all compacted dirt. So I think for this assignment, which is just a series of different missions to unlock the exclusive five-year anniversary awards, I think you have to do every mission type. And one mission type is basically just doing two boss fights, two or three, I think sometimes it's three. Um, and I am a little bit nervous about doing that mission type solo. I'm hoping the difficulty is reduced for, for one person. Okay, so we have a trophy down there, and we have some gunk seats up on the ceiling. And we have a bug trying to kill me. 
these things without dying. I wish there's a more reliable way. There's plenty of red sugar down here. And I can hear the other mules, they give off a little beeping sound. random. 
wires and stuff you have to hook up and you have to recover their dropship. I can find some other ASMR YouTubers that play this game. I could eventually do a not solo one and try a harder difficulty, but I don't know if that's even necessary for an ASMR video. I don't think a lot of you are watching because you want to watch difficult gameplay, but maybe I'm wrong about that. There's those little exploders which aren't too bad to deal with as long as there aren't many of them, but then there are giant exploders. I can't think of what they're called right now, but they're basically like bigger than those, but exploders. Something that starts with a C.
cover the radius in gold after they're done exploding, which is kind of cool. I think it's called like a carassus or something. But uh, yeah, you explode if you get them into a tunnel and explode them. There's a loud car driving by right now. But yeah, if you lure those ones into a tunnel and explode them, they uh, they make like a ball completely coated in gold, and you can get like a ton of gold from them, which is kind of cool. Here's an old resupply drop that you can harvest and get, I think, usually. There's one, one resupply you can get from it. spare legs. I wonder where those came from. Oh, there's two resupply things. That's nice. Didn't notice that one on the side. Okay, we still gotta get a couple more gunk seeds and then do the rest. Okay, there we go. Those are the three that we need right there. Oh, there's even more. just attacking me. I hate to do it, but you all saw it. That was self-defense. I guess I don't have that mod installed. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Those things are basically like the equivalent of creepers in this game. that this game is nearly as good solo as it is with other people, obviously. It's more fun with people since random things happen, and, I don't know, playing with people is always more fun than playing with AI, but they did a pretty good job of porting this over to solo play. Bosco's a pretty good miner, too.
always wonder what happened to these mining crews when the thing went wrong. I wonder if it was like their fault. Or there's just really bad levels of bugs. Or if it was like mechanical failure. Like this drop pod. I don't know if this came in to pick them up and they never arrived. Or if something went wrong at the beginning when it dropped. But I've always thought it'd be terrifying. I mean, it'd be terrifying in real life mining if your equipment malfunctioned. But being on an alien, like an alien planet with a bunch of giant hostile bugs, that would really suck if some of your equipment malfunctioned because there's really no way for you to leave since you have to get out of, like, get from below the surface of the planet and then you still have to get into space. more research into actual coal mining this year. Um, I've mentioned in a previous video that I'm working on teaching myself to play banjo and sing. And I was learning an old Johnny Cash song called uh, Dark as a Dungeon, which is about mining. And I don't know to connect with the song more, I started doing research into Appalachian coal mining and learning more about coal miners. I always knew it was a hard job, but looking into it gave me even more of an appreciation for how hard of work it is. I didn't realize that they typically only make the mines as big as, like, there'll be veins of coal. And if the vein is only, like, three feet tall, they'll only make the mine three feet tall because it's so time-consuming and expensive to dig out a mine. So there can be mines that people are working in all day that are only three feet tall, so they're hunched over the entire time they're working. Or the other way around, there could be veins of coal that are ten feet tall, and there'll be a ten-foot mine, and then you have to be working on a ladder in a mine all day. And yeah, it's just very brutal work. And still, I think, in America at least, like... 30% of our power still comes from coal in 2023, which is insane, so, um, I mean, back in the day, I think it was like 70% or more, so, as much as people talk about how bad coal is for the environment and everything, it's still something that's necessary and someone needs to do those jobs for our world to function like it does, and yeah, just have a lot appreciation for those people that do that hard work and apparently because the whole thing about the song is telling young people not to go into the mine and talking about how the work's addictive and how it'll basically consume your soul and I was like how could anyone love that work but a lot of coal miners do love their job they say that the level of camaraderie and stuff you get from working in the mine is you can't really find it anywhere else, basically. He said the military is about the only other place where you find that level of camaraderie. So I thought that's interesting. And yeah, um, a lot of people say that coal mine dust and being in the coal mines is as addictive as nicotine. Which, yeah, I thought was interesting. So if you have any curiosity about I, I recommend looking more into it, as reading some stories, like some journals and stuff written by coal miners from the 1800s, them just talking about a day in their life and things like that, and that, I couldn't even imagine that when you have to use candles and lanterns and stuff underground, and you're digging everything out by hand with a pickaxe. There's like explosive gases and poisonous gases and stuff down there, and then you're pulling things out with actual mules. It's just crazy to think what people just a little over a hundred years ago went through to build this.
this country and just to build the world in general. So, yeah, that's my little, my little rant about mining. And now we play games like this for fun. But look at that, this mission should be finishing up in just under half an hour. So glad this one went a lot smoother than the last, the last mission I recorded. Still kind of bummed that I had five hours of some of our videos recorded that we'll never see the light of day, but I just need to let that go. It wasn't meant to be. So before I get to the end here, if you made it this far in the video, I hope you're enjoying it. And I've been really liking that I've actually been getting comments on videos and people providing their feedback, whether it be good or bad. Most people have been very, like, even if the video wasn't for them, they've been polite and respectful, and it's been very helpful because it helps me make better videos for you. But yeah, I would super appreciate hearing your feedback. If you like it, I would love a like, and if you want to see more, I would really appreciate, oh wow, I gotta get in this pod or I'm gonna fail. <laughs> I'd appreciate a subscribe, but no pressure, obviously. But I just feel a little bit obliged to say that as a YouTuber. It's fair to call myself a YouTuber now, but at the time of recording this, I'm at 32 subscribers, which I'm very uh, thrilled about, and my stomach is rumbling right now. But yeah, thank you if you've subscribed, or if you're going to subscribe, I thank you. So not too bad mission time, 26 and a half minutes. Pretty good uh, XP and gold based on how low of a difficulty that was. And let's see if we level up. Nice. And I unlocked a new hairstyle slash looks like it was cyborg eye. Extraction is what it's called. Let's see what the next mission. Again, I haven't played this in a long time. Yeah, point extraction. I think that one might be the drill dozer. I can't remember. I'll cover that when I get to it. Oh, let's see if there's anything that. 57% oh, savings on and Enor Pearl. Cyborg headwear. Nice. The next one I get a company credit. This will be good bonuses. And if I collect one more play card, I'll get another script. Well, I don't. Maybe I'll read that in the next video. As always, I really appreciate you spending time with me. I hope that you found this video relaxing. If you're trying to go to sleep, I hope you're already asleep and aren't hearing this. If you are, 